Queen heartbreak, will Prince Harry ever come back to royal family? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have made their bid to step down as senior royals crystal clear. But what if they change their minds? Will Prince Harry ever come back to the royal family? Prince Harry, 35, and Meghan Markle, 38, will cease to be senior royals from March 31st. But before their royal stepdown is complete they will carry out a string of final engagements. Prince Harry will be joined by Meghan in the UK this week to round off their time as working members of the firm. Prince Harry and Meghan announced their wish to step away from the royal family and pursue a more peaceful life at the start of the year. While the withdrawal has presented its challenges the couple won Queen Elizabeth II's approval and will relinquish their royal roles at the end of the month. As non-working royals Meghan and Harry will be able to pursue their own income but and will no longer receive taxpayer funding for carrying out royal duties. The couple will enter a 12-month trial period from March 31st in which they will attempt to carve out a new life for themselves. They are expected to continue to receive money from Prince Charles as they seek to become financially independent. Will Prince Harry ever come back to the royal family? While Prince Harry seems determined to go it alone, the Queen has reportedly told him the door is always open for his and Meghan's return. According to The Sun, Prince Harry who is extremely close to his grandmother Queen Elizabeth II met her for a four-hour chat at Windsor Castle on Sunday. The royal source claimed the Queen made her affection for Harry and his family abundantly clear while they discussed his plans for the future. Last week it was confirmed Meghan and Harry will no longer be able to use their Sussex royal brand name when they cease to be working royals. A royal source told The Sun, the Queen had a lot to talk to Harry about and this was the ideal time for them to both say their piece. When Harry and Meghan announced they wanted to quit it all happened very quickly and it was very stressful for all concerned. Sunday was the first time the Queen has had the chance to talk to Harry on his own and really find out what his plans are. It was a much more relaxed environment and they were both able to speak their mind. According to the source the Queen is upset not to see more of her great-grandson Archie Harrison who Harry and Meghan will likely raise in Canada. The source added, it's fair to say she is very upset about him and Meghan leaving and she would love to see more of Archie as would Prince Charles and the rest of the family. But she accepts at the moment that his mind is made up and he intends to live in North America. However, she also wanted to make it clear that the arrangement can only work if they do not exploit their royal status and try to cash in, that's why she wouldn't let them use the word royal for their foundation. The Queen is protecting the institution and she is also aware of the cost of security. That is something that still needs to be resolved. But Harry is also a much-loved grandson who she has always doted on. She made it very clear to him that he and Meghan are always able to come back if they change their minds and she will welcome them with open arms. Meghan Markle's toe-curling and cringeworthy video savaged as Palace forced to intervene. Meghan Markle's behind-the-scenes video with British Vogue's editor-in-chief Edward Enenful has been branded cringeworthy by TV personality Lizzie Cundy who claimed the palace tried to stop the Duchess of Sussex from posting it online. Last September Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, guest-edited Vogue magazine in a special edition of the Style Bible. In February, the Duchess of Sussex posted a behind-the-scenes video from her time working with the fashion magazine. TV presenter Lizzie Cundy claimed the video was cringeworthy as she commented on the former actress' decision. Speaking on True Royalty TV, she said, Did you not think that was slightly cringy? I just don't think that was the right way. I think it was too much and it was self-indulgent. I know you're going to think I sound like Piers Morgan, I don't. I do think it was toe-curling stuff and it shouldn't have been allowed. I do believe that Buckingham Palace did try and stop this video footage from going out but as Meghan gets what Meghan wants. Meghan Markle guest edited the September 2019 issue of Vogue and the special edition featured a special title, Forces for Change. The edition became the biggest selling issue of the last decade, due to the high profile nature of its temporary editor. The video post was accompanied by an account of the filming along with thanks to all those involved in helping bring the magazine to the shelves. Earlier today at Edward underscore the editor-in-chief of at British Vogue shared, 
hashtag forces for change, guest edited by the Duchess of Sussex at Sussex Royal, was our fastest selling issue in the history of hashtag British Vogue, sold out in 10 days, and the biggest selling issue of the past decade. I can't wait to see what 2020 has in store. To celebrate, we wanted to share this never-before-seen video behind the scenes with Edward and the Duchess of Sussex on the creation of this special issue. Please note, this was filmed last August in London. Congratulations to all of those who took part in the 2019 September issue, and huge thanks to those who supported and helped make this a success, the Instagram post read. The Duchess and her husband Prince Harry will officially part from the royal family next month after revealing they will continue their married life with son Archie Harrison in North America. Buckingham Palace has confirmed the pair will take part in the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey on March 9. They will join other senior members of the royal family for the engagement. The Daily Express royal correspondent, Richard Palmer, wrote, A last hurrah! Confirmation from Buckingham Palace that both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey on March 9. They will join the Queen, Charles, and Camilla, and the Cambridges at the service. The event will be the first time the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have appeared with the royal family since their Megxit announcement. The service will take part in London on March 9 and will be broadcast live on BBC One and across the BBC World Service. Meghan Markle in UK, is this the first place Meghan will go when back in UK? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will depart the royal family in the UK at the end of March, after which a 12-month transition period comes into effect, keeping them anchored to the firm. The Duchess of Sussex is likely to visit one place over anywhere else in a future visit to the country. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry will conclude their careers as senior royals this month after completing their final engagements. The couple is due to make their first appearance together on March 5, when they attend the Endeavour Fund Awards. After Meghan and Harry have attended the Endeavour Fund Awards, they will appear together once again on March 9 for Commonwealth Day celebrations at Westminster Abbey. The Commonwealth Day celebrations will be their last engagement in the UK before they leave on March 31. After their departure from the country, they will return to Canada, where they currently have a property on the idyllic Vancouver Island. However, there is one property in the UK which could pull Meghan back. One of the few locations which could bring Meghan back to the UK is Frogmore Cottage, which the Duke and Duchess moved into before the birth of their first son, baby Archie Mountbatten. The couple spent pound 2.4 million of taxpayer money to refurbish the property, which was built by Queen Charlotte in 1801. Frogmore Cottage retains a special place in the Duke and Duchess hearts, as it served as the staging area for several of their landmark occasions. The couple had their wedding reception at the neighboring Frogmore house in 2018, and they had an engagement photoshoot at the property. Frogmore Cottage was also Meghan and Harry's first home as new parents following Archie's birth in 2019 when Meghan's mother Doria Ragland also joined them. An insider told the Daily Mail, Frogmore, which is inside the Windsor security zone, is secluded, peaceful, tranquil and, most importantly, private. No one will see them coming or going. The couple has not announced any plans to sell the home, but to keep it they will have to pay a slew of new costs. According to the Times, Prince Harry will have to pay a triple bill for the property. The Duke and Duchess have allegedly pledged to pay running costs and commercial rent for Frogmore House. The couple will fork over £5,000 per month, as its commercial let is not an option due to security requirements. They will also pay back the pounds £2.4 million given to them for the refurbishment. A source told the Daily Mail some staff at the cottage have also left, given replacement roles with Buckingham Palace. They said, the workers are already being offered other roles at Buckingham Palace. There is a skeleton staff there all the time, consisting of one cleaner and a house manager. Others work as and when needed. This has all come as a bit of shock. They took great pride in working for them and being at Frogmore.